Hello and welcome to this video in the lockdown learning series where we're going to take a look at using complete control from within Keybase. So in the previous videos we've seen how to install uh, Complete Start and had a brief look at complete control but here we're going to see how you would use it in Keybase and take a look at a few of the features because there's definitely much more than has already been seen. So first things first, creating it, it's exactly the same as any other instrument so you just add an instrument track and pick complete control. So I'd already chosen it here, but you can see it appears under other, or you can just type KOM and it will appear complete control. You click add track. And here it looks exactly the same as the standalone version. So we've got this window. And here we can pick any sound in the way we did before. So we're gonna look at it in a, a little more detail than previously done. So first things first, we've got three main categories. So we've got instruments, we've got loops, and we've got one shots. So that's the way these are categorized. So instruments tend to be uh, melodically playable. Loops will be loops. And then these one shots, these kind of hit sounds, etc. So you can start choosing from there. Now, just going to look very briefly at, let's say, a loop. So let's find a drum loop and just load that up. And we can see that's just some audio, which I can play. Nice clap loop. So you can see it starts out at 120 BPM. Now, if we change Cubase's tempo, as I've just done down the bottom of the screen, it follows it. So that means for creating, building up rhythm patterns, percussion, etc., anything like this, because they follow Cubase's tempo, you're not stuck to the tempo which is indicated in here. So you can have plenty of fun building those up. We're going to look at that in the next video, just building up a, a brief look at how you can build up uh, drum loops, etc., using these kind of things. One shots. So we'll stick with drums. So there we've got a clap. So this is in a loop mode. And again, it follows tempo. So if we play it at 150, we get that. If we slow down to, let's say, 90, we slow that. But if you get your MIDI notes to the right length. When you program it, you can just have these as single hits, which is simple and straightforward to do with a bit of accurate programming. Again, we'll incorporate that in the later video. Just gonna look at instruments for the moment. So here, previously, we just looked at all instruments, but it is possible to narrow things down to a given instrument just by clicking where it says all instruments or clicking there. So here we can pick which instrument we want. So let's say we just wanted the play series selection. So there's some nice sounds in there. So if we wanted to narrow it down to that, we can see we've got play series selection. And again, you can narrow down by types or you can just load up the first sound. Now, when you click on a sound, you'll hear an audio audition of it. So it just gives you a sample. So you don't have to load the whole thing up to know that you want it. So let's, Chords of Banada. I'm having a bit of a Boards of Canada phase at the moment. So let's load that up. So again, to load that up, double click it. And there we go, it's loaded it up. So instantly you've got that sort of Boards of Canada vibe. You can imagine just spending a bit of time playing around with that and a few other sounds. Loads of fun. So there's more browsing to be done here, but I just want to take a look at how we can plug in extra elements of this. So we don't just need to use one part of it. So if we click what looks like, a, I guess, an American mains plug, here is our chain of elements. So here we've got our play series sound. Now we can add something else here. So if you wanted to change this one, you would click the little triangle and change it. But here what I want to do is add a new element. So I click the plus and it says what's available. So we've got guitar rig, reactor FX or supercharger. So I'm going to pick guitar rig. And now this slot in this has got guitar rig in there and it loads up the list of possible guitar rig sounds. If it doesn't do that, if you just click where it says no name, that seems to force it to do that. Occasionally I've noticed it doesn't do that. So here you can then pick up a guitar rig uh, set up and put that this keyboard sound through that. So I'm going to load up 3D Mangler 
And now when I play my sound, it's changed significantly. So you got that kind of, well, I, mean, I found that more Borders of Canada, if anything, but that's really, you know, nice and evolving sound. And you can load up all sorts of possibly um, unwise things here. So let's load up um, Crazy Randy Chorus. There we go. So here, this loads up an entire setup. So we've got a guitar amp, a cabinet, then chorus and flanger and delay. Now, while we might not want it with all of those elements on... Or we could tweak those elements and maybe turn down the... Turn the gain down. We could tweak that. Or you can also turn them on and off. So you can turn them off there. So if I turn off the amplifier section, we've just got the chorus and the delay. And if they're taking up too much space on screen, you can just click the minus and then they just get minimized. So... You can build up a chain. Again, we could add another Guitar Rig 5 if we'd totally lost our mind. So let's put in Air Verb in as well. And then you can build up these interesting sounds using just these elements. I think if you spent just a while noodling around with these, you'll come up with some interesting sounds that could take you days, if not months, to realize in other ways. So there's some really interesting possibilities here. So that's just a slightly more in-depth look of complete control but in future videos we're going to look at just building up some drum beats from the elements that are in here so the the loops and one shots but also looking at some of the other features which complete control gives you which cubase elements lacks which could be useful for you so i hope you found that useful and we'll see you again soon